as you would have seen in my little time lapse there, we got a heap of timber. And this morning, I went for a bit of a play ride. That's pretty neat. You'll see a bit of that, maybe. I'll throw a few photos up there. It's pretty epic. getting started on this fence so of course before you do anything before you get rushing in and cutting timber you need to have a plan as I showed you the other week I've got a plan so I'm just now in the moments of converting uh, my 3d drawing which I did all my measurements on that I'm now converting that to paper so while I'm building, I don't have to go to a computer and check technical specs or anything like that. I've got it all written down on a pad for quick reference. Really, really, really basic. What we've got here is our basic outline. Okay. Then we have our vertical members, our horizontals, and our vertical members over here. Now I've decided to shrink things up from the initial measurements that are in the uh, in the SketchUp plan because I looked at the gates and the gates don't look wide enough. Three meters does not seem quite wide enough because I remember with the current gates when we moved in here, a truck did not go through very easily. So I'm going to give it another 100 mil overall. Um, so that's actually going to shrink up things by 20 mil. So in doing that, We've now reduced down to 18.45 for our big panels and a meter 90 for our small panels. Okay, now we also have here a 10 mil notch because I want these to house in here because it's timber that's exposed to the elements. So with timber that's exposed to elements, it's going to twist and it's going to want to move because it's absorbing and shedding water because it's still basically a tree that's what they do that is the nature of timber so if you can house things and fix them off you're better for it so we have a 10 mil housing boom, 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 boom. okay and then we have a 5 mil housing for our vertical member here that's going to run through here there's also going to be one running across the back here to give this some support Welcome back. So we um, we've got everything cut, pretty much, apart from our top panel, which will suss once we get the majority of the fence panel together. Because um, I'm still figuring out exactly how I'm going to do that, uh, but that's all right. So we've got all our panels cut. Now we have basically come to the stage where you figure out your spacings, um, and so the first thing you do. You measure out the timbers find the average width so we're averaging sort of 143 144 okay so we know that so the idea is that you sort of we want like a 20 sort of mil gap um, in between our timbers okay we want a bit of bit of a 20 mil gap sort of thing there so we've got to work out over the run of our of our timber here the width of the timbers including the gap running equally and find equal spacing ok 
Okay, the way you do that, first start with a measurement. Okay, so we know this is 1775, then you take off 20 mil because you've got a 10 mil housing in each end. Okay, so the actual inside measurement will be 1755. Okay, so you type in once my phone decides to work, 17.55. Now, divide that by 163, say. Okay, you're coming up with 10.7. So, you know that that is 11. So we divide it by 11. That gives us 159.5. Press equals. Okay, now, all you have to do, times 2. Then, it's just as simple as writing down your measurement. So 159.5319. Okay. Now, as we write these down, we need to add 10 mil for our end, and we also need to round this up. Okay, so instead of being 159, because we're going to hook our tape measure on there, that's why we add the 10 mil. Okay, so 159, which is one, I would call that 160, becomes 170. This, that would be 04, so that would be 319, so it would be 329. Yep, cool. Clear as mud. Right. Start on your hook. Start measuring out. Now we put our X's because that's what it is. Our first one's going to start here, then you're going to have the gap. Okay. Nice and easy, really. Right, then all we do is transfer that onto our little brother here. Now, make sure when you're doing this, so this is the top, okay, so that's going to be running that way, okay, and because of the orientation, I've actually set this forward so that I can get a timber on across the back later on, okay? So, make sure that when you're doing this, that these are the right way around, okay? All right, so that makes sense there, okay? So now that that's done, then we get our timbers, okay, so our timbers are just going to sit in there, snug as a bug, in a rug, okay, and because of the variance of timber, see so yeah, you have a little bit of, a little bit of difference there, okay, see how that's not quite sitting in there, okay, all you do with that, come around here yeah if you are an apprentice builder and you don't have one of these I guarantee your boss knows and he disapproves you must get one of these okay it's called a butt plane every builder should have one if you don't stop the video and go and get one because if you can't master the basics don't try the advanced okay see all i'm doing there is just taking a nice chamfer off the edge okay and then by doing that it slots our timber in there real nice
Hey folks, so as you can see, we've finished one, one of four of these, building four of these big panels with the old floating. This was some good fun, this was a good little mission, um, didn't capture too much of it in this week's, uh, but next week's video you will see just how we did it, uh, mainly because I had to figure out for myself um, how I was going to do it properly. Um, and just involved a little bit of problem solving and it took too much time so I didn't bother filming it because uh, I needed to concentrate on just how I was doing it and setting it out and things like that. So that is basically the finished product. The only problem here as you can see is that I didn't have enough threaded rod so I just used the off cut here to make this look cool. Uh, but yeah, so in a, in a metre length that I got, I could only get three um, links out of it, so I'm going to get a heap more threaded rod. Um, let me know what you think because I'm still wondering whether having this threaded rod sort of exposed is a good idea or not. I'm not, not quite sure. Um, I'm thinking of sleeving it somehow. Um, but yeah, any sort of suggestions would be helpful, um, or even if you know where to get cheap. Um, stainless steel sleeve um, that will have an inside diameter of 12 mil. Um, if you could help with that, that'd be awesome. Um, but yeah, this was a good little mission. Um, these here are grooved in. Um, there's a couple of little things that I did that I'm definitely going to change on the next um, few of them. Why they're still going to look the same, it's just how I go about installing it and um, put, putting it together is going to change my processes uh, to make it easier to go together. Um, but as you can see here, everything's notched in um, because obviously timber twists. So, yeah, you want to try and lock, lock your wood in so that over time, with weather and nature being one of those, that your timber doesn't twist out. So that's why we've got. Um, these here at such a short distance because over that that's not going to bolt that's not going to bow out um, and inside here these aren't going to twist up or anything like that because they're, they're notched in by five mils and um, the only thing that probably does need to happen is a rail across the back here to get these here support and um, that'll happen later on um, if, if it starts to move on me I'm not sure if it will or not because um, it is 30 mil thick uh, so we'll see if that happens or not, but yeah Yeah, I'm really pleased that the design um, has Come out as a finished product and it looks cool, man So this is all going to be white the 4x2 is going to be white and this is going to be stained So it's really going to pop um, so Yeah Not as much work as it looks um, it did take me a while for this first one because I was problem solving and actually figuring out how it was going to go together but the next ones are going to be easy because I made this made this router jig here, big nice long one so I can do over a meter in it so all I do is this piece here sits over the 4 by 2 can't move left or right and then my router sits inside that at the perfect dimensions that I've that I've set up my guides here for. And I just go up one side, down the other, and then through the middle, and it's easy peasy. But there was quite a bit of work getting your centers, getting the offsets for the size of your router, um, and then figuring out the size of your router bit in relation to the to the sides. So those sorts of things you've got to really just sit there, do the math, figure it out um, and then put it together slowly, have a bit of a play, make sure it is going to work and then yeah, go for it. So that was just nice and easy on the old table saw, just um, set the table saw flat, then brought the blade up inside it okay, and then just cut these ends and that's simple as it is. Nice and easy. Using straight edges, straighten those up. Easy. But yep, yeah, our grooves that I was showing you earlier. You 
see there, so that's got what's called five groove on the back. So you'll see that from, from the back of the, um, from the deck, okay, but um, we actually looked at it and we actually really like it, it's actually come out really, really nice, um, and I think it'll actually create a bit of a feature to, to the fence being like that, but yeah, sweet guys. Um, so yeah, if you like this sort of stuff, please let me know, comment, you know, tell me what you think. I'm on to 36 subscribers and quite a, um, yeah, if you don't have a YouTube account, it's just through Google and you can just go to Google and match it with your Gmail, create an account, then you can come back to Omni Builders, follow the link and then all you do is hit the old subscribe button if you want to, if this is something that you're into, if you've been watching the videos and been like, oh, how do I subscribe? I don't quite not sure how to. If you've got a Gmail account, just use that. It's real simple. Even YouTube, how to make a YouTube account. It's easy. And then, uh, yeah, if, you, if you're into that, please share it around, whack the old like button, ting the old notification bell, let me know that, you know, that what I'm doing is entertaining for you all. Throw in some comments and, uh, yeah. This is just what I enjoy doing on my 9 to 5 and I like to uh, try and, I don't know, show you all some tips and tricks that you might not have known and it's just good for me too. Um, get my name out there and, uh, yeah, a bit of entertainment for everyone. And, uh, learn the art of presenting on a uh, small television show. <laughs> it's a very small television show. Uh, but climbing up there in looks and, and views and things and uh, I've got my Instagram and I've got a Facebook page. So all those sorts of things are paying off ever so slowly. Um, but yeah, um, any of you big YouTubers out there, um, Scott Brown Carpentry, mate, if you've seen these videos, please help out a local uh, local builder YouTuber um, any help would be awesome just a shout out because uh, your videos are real neat I really like them I'm a big supporter of you so uh, yeah tato tato bro uh, so uh, yeah and um, yeah finish carpentry TV all you guys you guys are awesome big inspiration for me actually doing what I'm doing I wouldn't have actually gotten into the whole YouTube thing without seeing that humble guys that are just have a bit of pride in their work are able to do what you're doing and doing some YouTube stuff and actually helping and educating um, young builders out there or even old builders out there or people that just want to learn new tips and tricks um, so yeah that's basically why I'm in into doing the whole YouTube thing um, just to you know spread the knowledge and uh, have a bit of a community out there of like-minded people you know have a bit of banter throw around a few comments and uh, yeah tell each other what what shit they did wrong in their uh, on their building you know what they did wrong you know that's always fun <laughs> but uh, yeah oh you could have done this bro yeah oh, 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 that's not quite right yet but hey no one's perfect mm. anyway sweet catch you on the next video guys see you later